Good morning, gang. Joyce Welsh with Skipping Calves Farms here. I'm just getting ready to get a late start on my morning chores. And one of the things that I try to do is I try to mimic nature as much as possible. With that in mind, I try not to give my animals city water. I'm going to pan around here. Um, there's the pasture. I'm going to come back here. There's a chicken tractor out in the distance. Here's Mama's cage with the babies. I still haven't gotten to them yet. Um, and here's my semi. Now, when I had this semi put here on the property, one of the things I did was I had them level it just off a tiny little bit. So that, uh, that uh, semi has a corner that's right here that's a little on the low side. And if you look, if we can zoom in, you can see the ripples. That's just a little bit of water dripping off into that tub. That's like a 45 gallon water trough um, overnight from whatever dew or rain that we have. Now I'm gonna zoom back out and walk on over. I wanna show you something that I just saw this morning. And hopefully it'll show up on the camera again because um, it, it's one of those little things that isn't really little. See those little white spots there? And over here. And over here you can see them in the sun better at the other end on the camera. And there's also some right here you can see in the reflection those are frog eggs that got uh, deposited last night i've got tree frogs here um but when i moved here there weren't any and one of the reasons i leave and you can kind of see well, what's going on inside the trough that's an old busted garden hose that's no good anymore that I uh, set up as a siphon and it goes over here on through the grass and, and gang, um, I don't want you looking into the sun. So bear with me here. I'm gonna pan over here to my favorite go-to character and that's Miss Lucy. Hi, Miss Lucy. You wanna get on camera this morning? Yeah? Let's see if we can get you on camera this morning. Is the camera going to see you okay? I can't see you very well. There you are, Miss Lucy. Hi, sweetie. Now, there you are. She's got the quietest, softest meow and purr. But she is such good company. Well, let's go over here and see if we can make it work with the sunlight and and it's a little uneven stepping, so bear with me here, guys. Um, let me get where the camera's in the shade here. And then we'll pan out. Okay. It's still not looking too good. Bear with me here. Okay. Now I'm going to try and zoom in. And there we go. Now, if you can see... Um, well, it doesn't make much sense if you don't know what's there. So I'm going to zoom back out and walk closer. I appreciate your patience with my cinematography. Um, but it's something, it, it's a point. Um, I'll, I'll get back to the, uh, water tub. So what you're looking at there is a couple of cinder blocks, a half a dozen um, red bricks and a garden hose sticking up out and what you're seeing half in light and half in shade as I'm adjusting the look of the camera that's my 75 willow row um, there's 75 different uh, willow planters willow plants that were originally planted in that row and they need a lot of water um, and there's an awful lot of water that comes off of that semi and I'm standing next to the truck box and there's water that comes off of that 
And that's one of the advantages of having my garden right there. It gets the benefit of some of that water. But the willow wasn't getting as much of a benefit. So I got that garden hose and I set it back up. Um, I'm going to pan back around. Let's zoom back out and walk back over here back to the tub. I'll try and make this quick. Um, so I set up that tub with that garden hose and then those bricks have little holes in it to hold the hose down. And that um, garden hose at the other end was sticking up. Well, it's 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 siphoned it's got water in the hose so it's a siphon into this trough that water hose sticking up as high as it does means this water trough will not uh, unless the rain is really coming in will fill up to the approximate level that you see it now and then will siphon off to my willows that gives me control without having to spend time and it also gives my tree frogs a place to lay eggs. It also gives me a way to water my livestock using rainwater that's healthy for them and better for them than the city water. So it, it, And it was with stuff I already had. This was a garden hose that blew a hole. And you couldn't use it for pressurized, but it's great for what I'm using it here for. So that's just another way of repurposing the things that I already have, and the thoughts and knowledge that other people have already shared with me. So that um, that's how I've set that up. It took a while to tweak it, but now I don't have to worry about it. Um, if we're getting any kind of rain at all, uh, those willows are getting watered. Um, and there's always a little bit of fresh water here for my animals including my wild animals that are tree frogs trying to make more tree frogs and i can see them in my eye but i don't know if you can see them on the camera and that's a shame but um right there over the brick some of that is in the sun and some of that is not. So hopefully you're seeing that because um, biologists, ecologists will tell you one of the, what well, I think they call it the fair weather species in terms of the health of an ecosystem or the frogs. And if you've got a healthy frog population, then um, that's a good thing. And so with that, I will wish you blessings for the day. And whatever you do, just keep chasing the dreams.